Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for singles. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is for the week ahead. We're going to see if anything's coming in for singles. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the week ahead. So whenever you watch this, the week ahead, the next seven days, what's happening? What do you need to do? How can you move forward? You know, whatever. This is for singles. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, singles. What do they need to know to help them move forward or what's going to happen? Oh, look at that. Anxiety. Anxiety. So, yeah, you may be feeling anxious or sad or depressed. Now, this equals a nine. It's time to move on from something. Something is hindering your growth. Maybe you're tolerating something you, you need to let go. It's causing you some anxiety. Angel of strength. Boy, this reading is for you. It really is. You are being given the strength to deal with whatever it is you got face, that you're facing. Okay? You have the strength. You may need to dig deep to find that courage, but you got it. It's in there. Don't let pride get in the way. I just got to tell you. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. There's only one person you got to prove to. It's up there. Ooh, geez, you're thinking a lot, aren't you? Thinking, 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 thinking. About where you're going, about the future, about the past. And you're, you're causing yourself a lot of sleepless nights, thinking, 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 thinking. Planning, right? You're planning, right? That's it. I'm planning. Sometimes you just got to go with the flow. And the strength is, if you were to look up the regular strength cards, the strength to let go of the outcome. Trust, have faith. Door to value. So we have a we have a door that is opening. And it's something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness. Look at look at when you look through that door. Not only is it going to bring you financial abundance, it is going to bring you Serenity, I mean, because there's warmth. When you walk through that door, there's warmth, there's abundance, there's growth. So we do have a door. You, a door is opening. Your value, maybe you're changing your values. Goddess of the moon. Divine. Divine guidance. You are receiving divine guidance. You are. Now, I was going to say angels because of this four, but now I'm definitely going to say it. We have an angel here, and fours are angels, and we have this goddess of the moon. Moon, you, you, are, you do have some divine guidance around you. Trust me, you do. And they are giving you some strength. They're going to give you the strength that you need to get through this situation that you are worried about. So... Rest assured that you do have some, some guidance from above. And we have manifestation here because this equals an 11. And the goddess of the moon, this is about intuition, manifestation as well. So you guys are manifesting something. Be really aware of your thoughts at this time. Just saying. Um, there's something going on behind the scenes that you may not be aware of that they have under control. Go with the flow. Oh my God, that's what this is. They've got this. Remember I said there's only one person you need to prove yourself to and I pointed to above. They've got this. Whatever it is that you're worried about, they've got this. They are guiding you in the right direction. Trust, have faith. That's a strong message. Have, have some faith. 
<laughs> you are going to receive a reward. There's that another 11. Look at that. So 11, 11, like I told you, you're man this is an 11. So you're manifesting something and you are going to receive some sort of reward, the door to value. You're going to receive some payoff, whether it's financial payoff or, or some other form of abundance. You are going to receive something, a reward for finding your strength to go with the flow. Don't try it. You can't control anything. Even though we all try, right? It's out of your control. There's no need to worry about it. Let go of the worry. Close that door to worry and let these people that are above, God, angels, spirits, whatever, take this because they got it. They got it, whatever this is. You have some divine guidance here and you are going to receive something very, very bountiful. Very bountiful. You are headed towards... Someplace really warm, someplace very, very bright. You're headed to a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Trust me, you are. Just trust me. Trust me. I know you're like, trust. Yes, trust. Can you do that? Blossoming abundance. You know, I already told you, I can't even make this shit up. You know that I can't. It's coming. It's coming. Let go of your worry. Trust. Surrender. Did you see the sign over there? Did you happen to see that sign? Because I'm, I'm just going to zoom it in for you because it's really meant for you. Okay, that sign's for you. That sign right there is for you. Just saying. Because it's coming. It is absolutely positively coming. Trust me, it is. Trust me. Oh, that's hard. It's hard to trust, right? It is hard to trust when things are so, you know, when you're depressed. When you're depressed and you're feeling alone and you're feeling like you got nobody and you're feeling like things are never going to change. Well, I'm telling you right now, things are absolutely positively going to change. They are going to change. Abundance is coming. They're, it's cooking behind the scenes right now. Divine guidance. It's a seven. Sevens are divine guidance. I'm telling you what. The angels and God, they got your back. They see they know that what they, they it's going to happen. You're going to get what you deserve. You're going to get the abundance. You're, this is your prayer. Threes are your prayers being heard. Absolutely. They are being heard. Trust me. Right now, you may be a little stuck. But you have the ability to break free from that. But that you're stuck in your own thoughts. You are Your thoughts are causing your anxiety. Please stop. Stop. Remember, we're talking to singles here. You're, you're, you may feel like you're going to be alone forever. Mm -mm, you're not going to be. Oh, did I just got done saying you're not going to be? I told you you weren't going to be. You're not going to be. They are not only are they going to give you strength to let go of your fears because anxiety is caused by fears. Not only are they going to give you um, courage to accept what is they're going to bring you in some love they are but remember it's going to be when the time is right it's opening right now the door is opening it's opening now this is a this nine i always got equals a force the angels these are both angel cards these are both fours all is well trust me all is well there's universal guidance here really pay attention to the signs there's angels around they're helping you they're helping you behind the scenes they're going to bring you love have faith have faith fifth chakra archangel gabrielle this is communication. This is uh, the throat chakra. This is honest, truthful communication. Communication may start this week. It may start this week with somebody that has been behind the scenes. You know, maybe this person has been watching you behind the scenes, whatever. Um, there's something hidden. There's something hidden, but this person may communicate with you this week. Either way, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you guys, 
are going to be receiving something that is going to build you up. It is. You're receiving some sort of reward, okay? Cornucopia. It's harvest time. It's harvest time. It's time for you to receive. And it looks like you're going to receive some sort of communication from somebody. From somebody that is interested in you and perhaps they've been watching you. Now, this is if you can, because the first card is fear and anxiety. This is strength and courage and willpower, and you need to find that force within. And the angels are going to give you that ability to surrender, because that's what this is. You surrender to the divine, because there's a lot of divine here, and they bring it. They bring it. But right now, you're in your head so much. You're, and you know, your thoughts become things. We have these 11s. This 11, this is an 11. Your thoughts become things. And 5s are conflict. So you have a lot of conflicting thoughts. Remember. Remember that these thoughts are what you manifest. Change your thoughts. Change your thoughts. Because we, your prayers are being heard. Whatever you're thinking is being heard. Think positive. Think positive. We do have... Uh, It's almost like they're bringing you in an angel. You know, you're, you're going to receive some sort of reward for all this stress that you have been through. You abs I mean, that you can't make this shit up right here. You're going to receive a reward for the stress that you've been through. Um, and it's going to be a big one because of all the... All the you know abundance here. I mean, this is a this is abundance. This is abundance. This is abundance. It's going to be big. It's going to be a big reward, and it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling. It is going to be emotionally fulfilling. Um, so I think that there could be the start because this is the start of communication with somebody that has been held back. This person has been held back, whether it's from the universe or from themselves this person has been it's been it's been cooking okay behind the scenes it's been cooking and it looks like the time is now to start this communication now here we have another three nine plus three it's twelve one plus two equals three so we it's like your prayers have been heard and they are going to bring you some sort of support this person that is coming into your life is um, Abundant. This person that is coming into your life does have abundance. This person can take care of you. And that's why that's why it takes time to, to get the right one. Because that's the person you want. Right? That's the person you want. Whoever is coming in is a good communicator. They're, they're honest. Um, they're caring. They're loving. And they... They got money, you know, they got money. I'm not saying they're rich, rich, but they could be. They could be rich, but they definitely have, they can take really good care of you in all ways. I see love, I see communication, and I see money. So whoever this person that's coming in is absolutely a gift, okay? They're absolutely a gift, so... You could start communication with somebody this week that this person is brought to you from above. Seriously. We have angels and then we have these fours, angels above. So this is like angelic uh, intervention. <laughs> okay? I'm rubbing my heart at this point. So, and I don't have any fire in my chart. I really don't have any. Maybe some Sagittarius. But, um... So somebody is going to get some sort of, it's the beginning though. I think it's the very beginning because I, I think that the communication starts and it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you feel really good. So that's what I have. Talk to you next time.